if you aspire at all to want to practice archaeology in the field, these are skills that you can't learn anywhere else. It's learning to read the soil beneath your feet. It's teaching people to use their imagination to really engage with the past. And it marks out the University of Reading archaeology department from any other department in the country. We called this course a virtual field school because we wanted to explain how the different elements of archaeological research connect up from the trowel's edge, digging in the field, right through to the analysis of the material and then its storage and preservation in the long term at the end. The people that use Mardenhenge, the people that use the building at Mardenhenge, they will have seen Stonehenge in use. They will have probably worshipped there themselves. Everyone was really excited. I was lucky enough to be able to process it. So I did actually use a toothbrush, but not as thoroughly as you might with your own teeth. <laughs> I've recently completed a large-scale study of teenagers from medieval England. With archaeology, obviously, the, the people aren't with us anymore, but we still have to think about that storytelling and how you can build that research around it and make it significant, make it meaningful for people today. So do join us on the course, Archaeology, from Dig to Lab and Beyond. <laughs>